Hello, this is John Long with Clean Bread and Cheese Creek. And today is April 14th, Saturday, and it is about 1.30 p.m. And I wanted to show you the incredible job that all our volunteers did today on the section of Bread and Cheese Creek. From Merritt Boulevard to Plainfield Road was where we originally planned to go, but our volunteers did such an awesome job and enjoyed cleaning so much we went well beyond halfway up Willow Road. So you will see this incredible transformation as we walk through the area. Bread and Cheese Creek is a little creek, 4.75 miles long. It starts uh, as an underground spring at the um, Oak Lawn Cemetery. Uh, this is our spring 2012 cleanup. And this is the section right now we're coming next to is between the bowling alley and between Merritt Manor Shopping Center. As we walk along, and you know the earlier video you saw where everything was completely trash and crusted and there were tires and it's all gone. Thanks to our incredible volunteers. I mean today we pulled out eight tires, a couch, a cement dry sink, a um, part of a car engine, lots of steel tubing. We pulled out rusted um, chain link fence that was balled up, a hand push mower. I mean, you name it, it's there. We'll have the totals of the trash and all later on and on our website, and I'll post it as a description. But I mean, look at this beautiful, absolutely beautiful stream. How can you not want to be this way? I mean, as we walk now past, you'll see the bank, which is right next to Merritt Manor Shopping Center, is spotless. There's nothing on there. Our volunteers, you know, literally worked on their hands and knees, picking up items small as a cigarette butt in order to ensure that this area stays clean because remember we're not just cleaning up bread and cheese creek because anything that stays in this creek is going to end up in back river then it's going to end up in the chesapeake bay and then after that it's going to end up in our ocean so it's not just a small thing we're doing it's a large thing we're doing i would like to thank all of our volunteers who came out we had an absolutely beautiful day and we had a great time. I want to thank all the people who came out, all our sponsors who helped make this cleanup successful. Uh, Sonic donated hot dogs to our cleanup, which is incredible. The Baltimore Arts and Music Project donated lots of nice snacks. Chesapeake Quality Traders donated lots of great snacks. Um, Water was donated by our longest sponsor, Gold's Gym. Uh, State Highway Administration supplied us with a dumpster, and Cambridge Iron and Metal Company supplied us with a metal recycling dumpster, so all the metal that I talked about can go for money for future cleanups. The Maryland Department of Environmental Protection and Sustainability loaned me a crew the day before with an Argos vehicle so we could extract the really big and heavy stuff and cut up two fallen trees that were blocking the progress of this lovely string. Um, Hamilton Savings, Federal Savings Bank gave us a check to help pay for all the other expenses and, and the extra food we needed. Uh, the Ramadka Family Partnership gave us a check to help sponsor for the food that we paid for. Um, the very generous and incredible Mr. Wayne Ching gave us money to help pay for the our cleanup. And as you can see, this money was not wasted. You saw what a eyesore this was. And look at it. It's beautiful. And it's amazing. Many people who showed up today kept saying to me over and over again, wow, what a beautiful stream. I never realized this was here. How can anyone want this to be trashed? But it's not just, it's not the people. Yes, I, I, I mean, I realize there are some people who throw trash in the stream, but a lot of it has to do with the, the stormwater management problems in the Dundalk area. 
it's very unfortunate. And people say, well, you got to keep cleaning it up over and over again. And maybe we do until we fix our stormwater management problem. But you know what? It's better than getting into the bay. It's better than destroying our stream. And it's better than destroying our ocean. We've been working to try and get the stormwater management updated in the area because right now all of the shopping centers and all of the streams drain directly into this little creek. So all of the trash that's in the shopping centers and parking lots end up coming down into the stream. And the stream is not just for us that live on it. I mean, this is a resource for everyone. Anybody can come. I mean, I've, you know, now that we've been doing these cleanups, I've actually seen fathers and their children coming to trap bait, which I hadn't seen in years in the stream. Uh, I see, you know, kids playing in the stream, which is what it should be for. Uh, and then, let's not forget the history of this stream. During the War of 1812, a group of volunteers, not professional soldiers, there were a few professionals among them, mostly volunteers, the Maryland Militia Company, successfully defended this stream versus attack from the British. I'm going to have to go through the, the back cutaway real quick and we'll start with part two of this video.